Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. I bet this is going to be a tasty treat. Uh, this is Evil Twins Amos A. Jesus Brandy Barrel Aged Beer. This is a huge beer. This is a monster beer. It's a Godzilla of a beer. It's a 12 percenter. This has been aged in brandy barrels. Uh, huge beer, guys. And you folks know that I don't buy a lot of uh, Evil Twin beers anymore. Me and... Uh, the head brewer that Evil Twin, uh, Jeppy, uh, don't get along too well. But they do an awesome dark beer, guys. All their 12% Imperial Souths, no matter what kind of barrel they age it in, are outstanding, guys. They are. He knows how to do these kind of beers. And I heard he was opening up his own brewery, but I haven't heard much since that announcement was made. Uh, and this was sent to me by Rico. Uh, and let's see here. He says he picked this up last week. I just got this last week. So I've only had it a couple of days. Uh, picked it up last week and it was $9. It still has the price tag on top, $9.25. Uh, sold individually, 12% Imperial South Age in Brandy Barrels. And that's exactly what it says on the label here. So, and uh, like I said, they do some awesome stuff. Uh, he's just like his brother McKellar. Uh, Vagabond Brewer goes around to different breweries and has them brew his recipes uh, for, for the beers that he's wanting to produce. Uh, and they do 99.9% .9 of them very damn well. So, uh, Maybe in, in the near future we will hear something from him or, or them at Evil Twin that they have the brewery and it's up and running and, and all that. And he's not running around uh, uh, all over the countryside like his brother does over in Denmark. Uh, producing his own beers at his own place. So uh, I'm pretty sure there is no dating, but we'll look. It is a very dark beer and a dark brown bottle. I don't see any kind of dating on it. Uh, it says here, imported by 12% LLC, which is what he has a contract with, and they do all of his beers as far as that. Uh, it says, contains barley, malt, in, inhaler, corn, cornica, beer, cerveza, oil, best before date, see label, best before date. And I don't see any kind of best before date on this damn label. Star, store dark and cool. On a pilgrimage for immortal, immortal craft beer, we tripped on these heavenly brandy barrels. Threw on moss a Jesus in and created a damn good aroma that thick fudge like body, pitch black color, and obviously only made in a limited amount. And they taste almost a Jesus or Jesus, every, whatever country you're from there. Produced and bottled by Abitrin Brewing at Cerveza del Montesave, St. Miguel de Molina, Barcelona, Spain. Product of Spain. So not only is he vagabonding around the U.S., he's still doing things across the pond. So this one evidently was imported from Spain. Uh, wasn't aware that he was doing anything outside the United States. So, we shall see. We shall see. Uh, 
And the commercial description says the same thing that I just read off the side of the bottle here, guys. So without further ado, let's get the cap off of this bad boy. A little bit of a hiss, not much. Didn't expect a whole lot on a 12% Imperial Barrel Aged Stout. Cuisine is barbecue, the cheeses are buttery, brie, gouda, Havarti, Swiss, your earthy cheeses, Camembert, Fontina. Goes well with your chocolate dishes and desserts. And the meat is beef, shellfish, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat. Glass of pine, becker, nod, tom, to mug, side, side, I'm using my favorite tulip glass. And this beer can be selling for a long period of time. I can't think of a reason why you could not. It says here, not recommended unless ABV stands average range. 12%. I think we're good there. Uh, didn't pour much of a head. And a lot of times these big monster beers, 12 percenters, do not. Uh, pitch black, guys. There is no light coming through the glass at all. A great final beer of the evening, which it is for me. Let's get a nose to it. Rich roasted heavily, almost to the burnt characteristics on the malt. Nice sweetness there. A little bit of the brandy. Caramel. Toffee. Molasses. Brown sugar. There is a little bit of alcohol. I'm not going to lie to you. It's 12% though. you got to realize you're drinking a 12% beer. And I'm sure it's probably fairly fresh. I don't have any kind of dating from uh, Riku on this. And I will look at the bottle when I come back with the final chokes. If there's any kind of vintage or dating on the bottle. It smells wonderful, guys. Well, let's dive in. Let's do it. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. On the taste, I'm giving hints of licorice, I'm giving some uh, bittersweet chocolate, I'm giving some dark fruit, I'm giving some tobacco. A very nice final beer of the evening. A very nice dessert beer. This is a big beer though. Would want to drink this out in a a bar or a brew pub you would have to drive home even after one glass of this this is a beer to drink at home this is awesome I and mean, these guys Jeffy and Evil Twin does some very very tasty Imperial Stouts they have got that he has got that figured out but I wasn't aware of this particular one come from Spain so he's, he's traveling around quite a bit. And that makes this beer cost a little more for brewing it in Spain than it has to be shipped across the pond and distributed in the United States. That, that adds cost to the beer. But most of his beers in this category are the $9 to $12 bottle for a 12 ounce bottle. And this is no different. Almost a $9.25 is what it had on the cap. So not too bad for a 12% barrel aged beer. Rich roasted malt. Heavily roasted. Almost to the burnt characteristics of the malt. Wow. Very delicious though guys. Well let me sip on it. Go out there and finish up the cigar that I was smoking. Nice Maduro wrapped cigar. A nice dark cigar will go well with this. And I'm, I think I've got that, an obsidian uh, Maduro rep cigar out there that I'm going to finish up with this. So uh, Let me sip on it for about 30 minutes and we'll come back and see where it ends up. Very tasty right now though. Alright guys, I'm back. Been sipping on about 30 minutes or so. Very tasty beer. Uh, a big beer. you got to realize you're drinking a 12 percenter. The, the brandy notes are kind of subdued. Uh, very nice dessert beer. Uh, 12% big time roasted malt, burnt malt almost, uh, caramel, toffee, brown sugar, bittersweet chocolate, 
hence of some dark fruit in there. Looked at the bottle when I come back. Very dark bottle. Couldn't see any kind of dating or vintage on this beer at all. Uh, would like to know that. Uh, they could print it on the label. They chose to, and they choose not to. So another problem that I had with Jeffy and the Evil Twin. Uh, they do what they want to do. And they could care less what you think or, or whatever. Uh, I found that out personally myself. So uh, decent beer. Uh, probably not something that I would buy for myself because it doesn't have a vintage on it anywhere, but it is a tasty beer. Uh, I don't know how long they left it in the, in the brandy barrels, uh, but the brandy notes are very subdued, guys. Uh, they are. Well, they're there, but they are very subdued. I'm getting more of the brandy on the nose than I am on the taste. Very typical of what I've had from him on and most of his beers of this style are twelve percenters, so he's got that part figured out. But uh, it's nothing that's outstanding to me. And for the cost of the beer, uh, I've had better barrel aged beers. Final job. It is a very nice beer. I will say that. He does these 12% barrel aged beers very well. The brandy is kind of subdued on this one though. Uh, to me guys, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it is a tasty beer. I do think it's an A beer, but it's at the bottom of the A scale. Since they decide not to print any kind of date or vintage on the label or on the bottle anywhere. Uh, 90's what I'm going to give it A minus. Let's run over to Beer Advocate. They say 89. Pretty close on the scale there. 89 through B plus. I'm giving it a better grade than that. So, And over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer has no score. They haven't had 10 people comment on this beer to give it a score. So uh, final check in. We're we'll running over to Untapped. Untapped has it at 4.09. That is in their bottom of their A score. Uh, so A minus as far as I'm concerned, and that's what I'm giving it. This is an A minus beer to me. It is an A beer though. Uh, very tasty. A great final beer of the evening, which it is for me. A great dessert beer. A great beer to share with friends, family, other half, or whoever you choose to share it with. Since it's a nine dollar plus beer, just because Rico paid nine twenty five doesn't mean that I can buy it here for nine twenty five. It may be ten twenty five or eleven or even more, depending on. Where you buy it, it would depend on what you pay for this, this beer here. So, what didn't blow me away, didn't blow my hair back or my socks off or anything, but it is a very tasty beer, right up to the par of what he produces in these 12% Imperial Stouts. Uh, so, if you've had this one uh, from uh, Evil, Twin <coughs> Evil Twin Brewing, this is their Amos A. Jesus Brandy Barrel Age. If, if you didn't tell me it was aged in brandy barrels, I would probably not know that it was. So I don't know how long they left it in the brandy barrels before they bottled it. Uh, one month, two months, three months. I doubt if they left it in the bottle and in the barrels longer than three months. Because the brandy is just not coming through to me as much as it should. But even then, being brewed in Spain, and then have to be shipped across the pond, and that adds cost to the beer. So another reason why uh, it's probably a ten dollar bottle of beer or more, depending on where you buy it. So if you've had this one from uh, uh, Evil Twin, their Almas A Jesus Brandy Barrel Age version, let me know what you think. Come on back tomorrow. Let's see what's in the fridge. See you then.